Review time. Alright guys, so in this episode of Viper Rates, I'll be talking to you guys about the Silver Vapors uh, candy cane, like I promised you. Now, this is going to be kind of a short one because it's really, it's actually pretty simple. Um, a pretty simple explanation and uh, review. Let's get started. So the basics are, it's obviously supposed to taste like a candy cane, which it pretty much does. Uh, this one is 3 mil, uh, milligram nicotine, 3 milligrams of nicotine. Uh, has a batch number on there, just like the other ones do. And, of course, uh, the Made in America symbol. Uh, it is 70 VG 30 PG, so 70% uh, vegetable glycerin, 30% propylene glycol, for those of you who don't know what PG and VG means, if this may be your first video, and you may be just uh, getting into vaping. So, let's go do a little uh, up close so you guys can know a little bit more about uh, vaping as well uh, during this review. I'll show you up close. Real quick, my setup. Okay, so this is what I've got going here. We have here a the revolver mechanical mod in uh, pretty much all the pieces, except I didn't take the top cap off and I didn't take the button off. I'm not going to take them apart right now because I'll do that when I actually review the product. And here we have in two pieces. My Plume Veil RDA. If you don't know, RDA stands for Rebuildable Dripper Atomizer, and I, this is not a setup for a beginner. But I figure I'd show it to you guys anyway, anyway, so you can get a feel for uh, what you're in store for. This right here is an 18650 uh, 2500 ma, which stands for milliamp hour battery. Uh, it's a high drain battery and it's protected, which is what you want to use in one of these when you get to it. Anyway, that's all I would have to say about that right now. Let's get back to the actual review. Alright guys, so basically let's talk about the juice. This is kind of the old style bottles that they used to use. Uh, they now have the new, you know, the, the new bottles with the uh, child, child proof or child uh, resistant. Um, dropper caps which I actually kind of prefer if I'm filling my tank I kind of like these only because it's actually easier to drip on so or drip with I should say because those droppers are kind of wide and it's kind of a pain in the butt uh, so anyway on to the actual flavor itself the flavor of this juice is all right I mean it tastes like a candy cane it, it, it makes its uh, it meets its goal the issue I have with it is at the lowest possible nicotine before zero nick, it's harsh, like super harsh. Uh, it's not unlike, it's not like their other uh, minty, well not minty, it's a uh, menthol flavor, straight menthol where the vapor is cool and refreshing. This one kind of, well, kind of burns or almost stings a little bit. Um, by itself. Let's see if I can give you a case in point. <laughs> mm. Case in point right there. I don't always cough, but when I do, it's usually uh, a pretty prolonged cough. And not even with, with the wick uh, dry. Uh, with the wick being pretty well soaked. And even in a tank, I've been dripping because my uh, other tank is unavailable at the moment. Um, but even in my Aspire Nautilus Mini, I was uh, coughing. Even in my, um, what was it, the iSub G tank, I was coughing. So it's kind of a harsh flavor. If you get this one, I would recommend trying to get it in zero nick. Just stay away from nicotine with this one because it gives you too much of a throat hit. Or at least it gives me too much of a throat hit. This is my personal opinion. That being said, I do have something that uh, I think would be a great idea. I um, tried it on my uh, iSub, with which previously I was using 
the uh, strawberry that they sent me, which I'll also be doing a review for. And then I put the liquid in and I didn't, I guess I didn't clean my atomizer out well enough. But the strawberry e-liquid mixed with the uh, candy cane was great. It had a great flavor. It's a wonderful combination. So if Silver Vapors, you guys can get on that, I would highly recommend it and I would buy it on a regular basis. Even with uh, three milligram nicotine, which I guess if you mix two, uh, three milligrams, it gets closer to probably six. But anyway, that's not, that's besides the point. So overall, let's get to the rating portion of the video. Personally, I'm going to give this one a three stars out of a possible five. Uh, the reason I'm not doing a four or whatever my usual uh, rating is because of the harshness of it, at least at three milligram nicotine. The flavor pretty much makes up for it, especially if you mix it with still like, like a fruit flavor like strawberry, for instance. So it's good for mixing with not so great on its own. Overall, a decent juice, not the best. So that's, you know, that's just how I feel about it. But like I said, Silver Vapors, uh, you guys should try mixing it with uh, the strawberry Try to get a good balance, and I'd be more than willing to uh, give that a shot. Uh, I'm actually thinking about using what's left of my liquid, because there isn't that much left in here. I've been vaping on it uh, for a while, trying to get, trying to figure out the best way to vape it without getting that harsh harshness uh, too much. So far, I think the best way to vape this is on a RDA. Because uh, it's not as harsh if uh, you were to do it um, in a tank, for instance. And if, excuse me, if I sound a little off, I'm, I think I'm coming down with a bit of a cold. Anyway, I'm going to take a couple more toots for you guys. I think I need to drip it, so we'll be right back, and then I'll be ending the video. I'm going to do a couple of toots for you guys, and then I'm out of here for the night. Uh... So in conclusion guys, pretty good flavor, <coughs> harsh on the throat if you have any nicotine at all in it, but if you like uh, peppermint or you like candy cane flavors, or then it's an okay choice. If you like minty or that kind of thing, uh, I would probably recommend the straight menthol as opposed to this. Uh, especially if you're going to have any nicotine in it, uh, because it can be, this can be pretty harsh even at, uh, only three milligrams. Anyway, guys, that concludes this, uh, this edition of I for Rates, so DFTBA and, uh, vape on. End card time. This is just a quick reminder to tell you guys to check out Kasa.org if you're a vapor, new vapor, old vapor, or whatever. Uh, and if you can donate or send the link to your legislators, uh, legislators, or do whatever you need to do if you want to keep on vaping. Um, so you gotta go there. I'll put a link in the description. Please, please go. And, uh, as I said before, vape on.